I'm Raven Geotech and welcome to the first video in our new series covering FX in Ableton. Now we'll be going over some of the more obscure effects you can do in Ableton in this series and we'll be using a wide variety of Ableton plugins to do various different things. So today we're going to be going over vacillation. Now this is an effect that came up with recently which I find very useful um, so I'm just going to explain to you how it's done here. So here we have um, hat, a bass and a vocal, I'll just play the tune. There you go, they're, they're, just, they're just three demonstra demonstrative uh, samples, they're not, they're not perfect together, but they're perfect to explain how to do this technique. So, um, I'll start here, I'm going to make a MIDI channel here, so control T, I'm going to open an operator. Now an operator, the operator would have to be my favorite Ableton plugin. It's, it's very versatile. It's very, uh, it's very. You, you, when you really get into it, you can really make sounds your own. You know, so work, start from scratch and really build sounds. And uh, it's a very, very useful plugin. We use it in every single one of our tracks and numerous times over. So, uh, so yeah, it's it's a very useful plugin. So, um, I'll actually I'll go to one of the presets here. So, um. And we'll get uh, let's get a hat. So yeah, just a normal hat here. There we go. Now I'll just play that. Now the good thing about using synths is we've oscillated. So on the operator here, there's four oscillators. So if I go to my last one, which isn't in use, as you can see, I'm adding a layer of sound to what's already there. So I'll just I'll change that to white noise so just a noise effect to back up kind of uh, hats with so as you can see it's 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 one of the advantages of using MIDI and using synths it's you can really make sounds your own. Now what um what was going through my head there uh about a week ago is if if it was possible to do that with audio samples obviously uh you can tweak samples. You can mess around with them. You can you can layer them with other samples, obviously. But if you want to if you want to layer them with say an if you want to layer them with an oscillator off your operator, so it's kind of so it's kind of backing it up. Uh, how would you go about doing this? So I got my brains and came up with it. Came up with a nice way of doing it. So in order to do this, um, we're going to need to use. Some it's an audio effect called the vocoder. So I'm gonna drag it onto the vocal here. I'll solve the vocal. That's the vocal now, drag it on there. Now the vocoder be familiar with a lot of people from Daft Punk tracks for instance, they use it on their vocals, it's very distinctive, uh, you, you can really mess around with them. So I'll briefly go through how the vocoder works. Um just very briefly just to explain and um We'll go from there. So it has a vocoder here on the vocal. Now vocoder are triggered by MIDI. I'll just explain that now. So I'm gonna get um go into my operator presets. There's a nice um synth synth brass, there we go. It's a nice preset here called Prazinski. I'll just play it. That's it there. Now if I go into my vocoder, got the carrier, got the external. This is much like the channel room we've gone through before. Audio from, we're going to take it from 14. So you can see. So now if I solo this vocal, try to play it, you'll hear nothing because it needs to be triggered by MIDI from channel 14. So I'm going to go in, draw on a note. Now if I solo these two together, you'll hear the Brazinski comes over it and gets in the way. <laughs> Which doesn't really help, so I'm gonna have to turn that channel off. So here, so here we're getting the signal, as you can see down here, from channel 14, but we're not getting the full-on sound coming out of channel 14. So, uh, so it's good to have have that send the signal, but just turn the channel off, so you're not hearing the full-on sound. So. Play that there. 
I'll go into the MIDI here, mess about, add a few, add a few notes. So as you can see, when you you change the notes, you change the tone, you change, you just mess it up. It's this nice, it's a nice, very nice plugin to use. So but there we go. And I'll just explain how this is relevant. You, you can, I'll just go over here. Actually, I'll just do more, more two little things you can do with it. We call it. Already, just mess around, change the frequency, enhance it, release. Lots of stuff you can do with it. So now I'll just explain how it's relevant and what we're trying to do here. So, um, so as you can see, it's receiving signal, uh, and it's sound is kind of laying on top. I take the dry wet off. It's nothing, and now when I bring the dry wet up, you can hear it in the background layering. So, um. So as with a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of things in Ableton, mainly reverbs, delays, that kind of thing, you don't want to reverb on every channel, you don't want to delay on every channel, you want, that's why the, the sounds and returns are absolutely vital. So if I want to do this kind of effect, backing up, say, hats with some white noise, and I want to do it on numerous channels, it's good to have them on the return channel. So I'm going to go to my return channels here, okay, okay, new return track. I'll just go to my vocal here. I'll just delete this because it's unnecessary now. Uh, so I'll go here. I'll go to my audio effects. Down to the coder. And there we go. Now I'm going to need a carrier sound. So if I start with the hat here, I want to back this up with a nice bit of white noise. So go in here. I'm going to Vysinski. I'll, I'll use this. I'll just go into it. Turn all these oscillators off. I'll leave one on at the end. And use white noise. So I saw that. Yeah, it's white noise coming out there. So the coder here on the B return channel. Okay, external audio from as 14. Now I'm going to rename 14. I'll call it white noise. I'll color it white there. Okay, so channel B is good to go, so it's ready to receive. It's ready to see audio. So if I solo my hat, my hat here, I'll play it. Okay. Now I'll play it, and now I'll just add a bit of white noise. There. Solo the recorder here. I'll first. I'm just gonna add some audio effects. This is my audio effect rack we've gone over before. It's just some of the essentials: compressor, EQ, Redux, delay, spectrum, learner. So if I solo this here. You'll hear just what the return sound is doing. Give it a bit of read up. So, we saw the hat here. That's the way it's going to oscillate or layer, avoid noise. That's the way it is. I'll can bring the volume up. And bring the release up. That's a bit more prominent. As you can hear, it's giving a nice layer behind. You can obviously tweak it how you want, mess the frequencies and all that. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, it's it's like a nice oscillator layer on uh, on top of an audio audio sample. So the reverb added on channel A. You get some really nice sounds. So that's that one there. Uh, Bass here, for instance, uh, be nice. Maybe I'll just solo the bass. Nice kind of low bass. Bit of grit added to that will be nice. So same again. Add a return track. 
maybe a nice saw layer on that. So uh, we we'll just go to operator. I'll just I'll just get one the um let's get one the saw bases out here. Um, say the acid base, for instance. So say I'll just have to make like before. I have to make a new media channel. I'll try the acid base over. Solve it. There we go. So like before, I'll put it in C two. Obviously, you can put it in the key of what your track is in. Uh, when you're doing when you're doing this yourself, I'm just gonna I'll just put this in. I'll just keep it in C. Uh, just just to keep it simple. So uh, look for turn the channel off. Go to return channel here. Say out of a coder. So external audio from and base acid. So that's good to go there as well. So let's solve the base. adding I'm gonna do the same again add an audio effect rack to that now I can might bring that key down a bit just to make it a bit darker obviously there are other presets you can go to get it in key and you'll get a really nice kind of layer to this face. So that's it right out there. Let's go in here. There we go, just a nice little kind of grit layer. My just add a saturator to that just to so there we go just like before it's a, it's a nice little layer you can obviously go through the sounds yourself get a nice gritty gritty layer to it get the sound and get it in key and really just really just start messing about so um so yeah that's that, that pretty much sums it up there it's uh, it's a nice way of just adding oscillator layers from the operator um from the operator synth um to your sounds like so i'll just I'll just play the hat there again the, the white noise does be pretty useful on that sounds Just a little, just a little tiny bit. You won't even notice it in the background. It really, really brightens up your tracks. And uh, obviously, you can uh, do it like before, a nice saw or an acid bass on uh, from the operator onto your actual bass and different effects of the vocal. You can use your Brzezinski setting on the vocal as well. So you can really mess about, be creative. But it's a nice way of easily. Um, of easily adding oscillator layers to your sounds, so um, so that's uh, that's for oscillation there. I hope I hope that made sense. Um, any questions or emails, right there at the end. So uh, so thanks for watching and uh, talk soon. It's